Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Good morning, and praise the Lord. Today is Wednesday, September 18th, 2024. Today is a strict fast day, and we celebrate Eumenius, the wonder worker, Bishop of Gordonia. This saint took up the monastic life from his youth and later became Bishop of Gordonia in Crete. He traveled to Rome and to Thebes in Upper Egypt, where through his prayers he ended a drought. There also, after working many miracles, he reposed in deep old age. His holy relics were returned to Gordonia and buried at the place called Raxos. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive us our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. The epistle reading this morning is from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, and a small portion of chapter 10. Brethren, the rendering of this service not only supplies the wants of the saints, but also overflows in many thanksgivings to God. Under the test of this service, you will glorify God by your obedience in acknowledging the gospel of Christ, and by the generosity of your contribution for them and for all others, while they long for you and pray for you because of the surpassing grace of God in you. Thanks be to God for his inexpressible gift. I, Paul, myself entreat you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, I who am humble when face to face with you, but bold to you when I am away. I beg of you that when I am present, I may not have to show boldness with such confidence as I count on showing against some who suspect us of acting in worldly fashion. For though we live in the world, we are not carrying on a worldly war. For the weapons of our warfare are not worldly, but have divine power to destroy strongholds. We destroy arguments and every proud obstacle to the knowledge of God, and take every thought captive to obey Christ, being ready to punish every disobedience when your obedience is complete. Look at what is before your eyes. If anyone is confident that he is Christ's, let him remind himself that as he is Christ's, so are we. The Gospel reading is from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter 4, verses 1 through 15. At that time, Jesus returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit for forty days in the wilderness, tempted by the devil, and he ate nothing in those days. And when they were ended, he was hungry. The devil said to him, If you are the Son of God, command this stone to become bread. And Jesus answered him, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. And the devil took him up and showed him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time and said to him, To you I will give all this authority and their glory, for it has been delivered to me, and I will give it to whom I will. If you then will worship me, it shall all be yours. And Jesus answered him, It is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. And he took him to Jerusalem, and set him on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, He will give his angels charge of you, to guard you, and on their hands they will bear you up, lest you strike your foot against a stone. And Jesus answered him, It is said, You shall not tempt the Lord your God. And when the devil had ended every temptation, he departed from him until an opportune time. And Jesus returned in the power of the Spirit into Galilee, and a report concerning him went out through all the surrounding country, and he taught in the synagogues, being glorified by all. Heavenly King, Comforter, Spirit of Truth, 
present everywhere, and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us. Cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, gracious Lord. Humility makes man God. Pride made the angels demons. Humility will open the doors of paradise, while pride will close the doors of paradise. That's a quote attributed to St. Evman in 1999, fairly recent. Grace, mercy, and peace be unto you from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. My name is James Newcomb. Thank you for joining us this morning. Wednesday, September 18th, 2024, and we'll be with you again tomorrow. We will close, as we do every morning, with our uh, with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.